back to Drunk on Wanderlust. We're here fresh from our wild camping adventures in Scotland and we're going to take you back in time to our adventures in the Amazon. We were out there fulfilling a lifelong dream of mine. At the end of April, we flew to Peru and spent a week exploring the Amazonian region of Puerto Maldonado. So much happened there as well. Yeah, we went kayaking in alligator infested waters. We zip lined across the rainforest canopy. We even fed piranhas. We actually volunteered at an animal shelter as well. And it was so amazing. It was, so let's quickly take a look back at where it all started. Let's go. We arrived into Peru at Lima Airport, where we caught another plane to Puerto Maldonado. We then caught a little boat down the river to the Monte Amazonico Lodge. We arrived at the lodge where we would be staying for four nights and had a good look around. The sun was beating down on us around 31 degrees and the air was humid and close. The lodge grounds were beautiful and we couldn't wait to check in and see our room. Okay, so we have arrived at the reserve. We've checked into our room, which is absolutely lovely. We've got three beds all to ourselves, <laughs> so we can play a musical beds if we like. <laughs> as soon as we arrived, we went straight over to the dining room where everyone was having lunch and it was so good. We had a vegetarian meal and we're so full right now. And then we've got a bit of time to ourselves before we go to Monkey Island. Yes, I've got to say that it is hot. Okay, it is humid, it is 31 degrees, but we are sweating. We are, um, my very soul is sweating. So there's gonna be no makeup, it's going to be one of those uh, weeks where we just scrape our hair up Hair's and just <laughs> go wild. So uh, we're going to look a bit rubbish as the video goes on. But hey, we're in the Amazon. Who cares? Let's do it. We met our guide Dagger back down at the river, hopped in a boat across the water to Monkey Island. Dagger was born in one of the indigenous tribes in the area, but decided to study and learn English so he could share his world with others and spread his knowledge and love of his local area. Before too long, we'd already spotted monkeys, bats hiding in tree trunks, and even wild peccary pigs that roamed the lodge grounds. As the sun set after a wonderful dinner, we headed out on the river to see what we could spot after dark. First up, Aragog the tarantula made an appearance. Dagger was armed with a powerful torch, scanning the riverbeds for alligators and caiman. To begin with, we saw nothing but an inquisitive owl, but before too long, we spotted a white caiman, just a juvenile, but these can grow to over eight foot long. We fell asleep to the sounds of the rainforest, but we were shortly awakened by our first tropical storm. Oh my God, yes. Thunder, lightning, rain like you've never seen it before. But luckily, by morning, it had calmed to just a drizzle. Now today, we were venturing much further into the rainforest. We were going to explore the Tambo Pata Reserve. Yes, we were heading into Jaguar territory. Luckily, we were assured you don't often see them in daylight hours, thank the Lord. However, we might stumble across an anaconda, and if we were lucky, some noisy howler monkeys. So let's do it. Before too long, Dagger was pointing out the different wildlife, various monkeys, the Goliath birdie in tarantula, which locals sometimes eat as a delicacy. I tried tarantula once in Cambodia, although I was very drunk and can't remember the taste that well. We continued on and decided to go off the path, deeper into the reserve for a better look. Thank you. 
Next up, we were heading to Sandoval Lake. It was time to paddle our way through the swamp to reach the lake and see what we could find. The first thing we spotted, more caiman, but this time the black caiman. This is the largest member of the alligator family, with adult males measuring around 13 foot in length. Luckily, we only spotted smaller juveniles in the daylight. There are a number of piranha species in Sandoval Lake, including the notorious red-bellied piranha. A number of indigenous people had been attacked while swimming here. There are smaller species too, which we managed to find. It was a truly magnificent experience and one that we'll never forget, almost like being in a movie. I love an adventure and this was certainly one of the coolest ones I've had so far. Now if only we could spot some howler monkeys, that would make it ideal. And as if by magic... Yes, another excellent find. They were so loud. After the reserve, we headed back to an area near the lodge to do the canopy walk. Time to climb. Between 30 to 40 feet up was a rope bridge. We needed to cross it to reach another viewing platform. on the bridge it's starting to get windy it's starting to rain how quickly can we ah! we're like 30 feet up on this tiny little fucking bridge say hi oh, i'm dying the bridge had started to swing and shake a lot in the wind it was scary stuff and by the time we got down the sun had set so it was now raining and dark sorry about this of the uh, filming but it's pissing it down it's getting dark we don't know where our guide's gone and we are in the rainforest good this is exactly what we want ah. <laughs> luckily we found dagger in the end and he had a torch he explained it was now time for the nighttime bug hunt which danny was not excited about as she wasn't the biggest fan of creepy crawlies i loved it personally Plus, it had stopped raining. We saw all sorts, including poisonous frogs and the famous Amazon bullet ants that pack a bite more painful than 30 bee stings and have been compared to a gunshot wound, hence the name. We awoke the following morning to more wet weather. Going on a zip line in the piss wet through rain, <laughs> looking pain. Yes, I couldn't wait. I loved zip line and I've done loads before, but this will be my first time in the Amazon. Basically, when I was 11, I got stuck on a zip wire at Kingswood Activity Centre and I've got PTSD. <laughs> and like, I was not really vibing getting stuck on one in the middle of the jungle when they don't have a thing to like mechanically bring you back. I was getting like images of me being stuck there forever. It's not happening. It's not happening. <laughs> Sorry, Gizzy, but I've got some good photos of her in videos. Also, you have to lock yourself on it. Knowing me, I wouldn't do it right. I'd go plummet into my death. It'd be death by jungle. <laughs> okay, so Danny wasn't as keen, bless it, but she is scared of heights. But I was living my best life. Now, what an incredible feeling, whizzing through the rainforest canopy. After we finished, it was time to head back. Now the storm had made the ground particularly muddy, but 
but we still enjoyed the walk. We were told to be extra vigilant for snakes and frogs today as they really enjoyed the wet weather, but luckily we didn't come across any. And the next activity, kayaking in the same river we spotted alligators. And this is the OOTD. Look at the fit, so cute. Woo, woo. Oh, oh, woo. So here we are, kayaking in the Amazon. <laughs> Danny Sorry. is loving every single minute of it. Sorry, like I'm so close to the camera, but it's tied around my neck. Um, this is the same river that we went alligator spotting and apparently there is also anacondas towards the banks of this river as well so we're feeling very very um, optimistic that we're going to survive this experience. This is like all of my fears in one but I'm doing it. But the sun has come out so feeling good. Pray for us. This is a very extreme close-up Danny Cam right now. I've got the fear. I'm scared of falling in the water. I can't even get on a big boat without making a scene. And I'm currently on a tiny kayak, <laughs> bopping around part of the river that goes into the Amazon in the middle of open water, panicking about my hair extension. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. My all starting to take off. Oh god, it's very real right now. Oh, cocktail. Goodbye. Okay, I've been told not to rock the boat because there's things in the water. Goodbye. Here comes our boat because we made it home. Just over there. We're currently twizzling in the boat because why not? We headed back to the lodge. We had some free time to enjoy our last few hours there and relax. Now we highly recommend both Monte Amazonico Lodge and Carlos Expeditions. What an amazing time we had here. But this wasn't the end of our Amazon experience. Now after we'd finished for the day, we hopped back into the boat and headed up the Tambo Paso River towards Puerto Maldonado as the next day we will be volunteering at the Amazon Animal Shelter. We couldn't wait to help out at the shelter as it was such an amazing cause. It was set up 14 years ago by a lady called Magali it rescues wild animals from hunting, habitat loss and the illegal wildlife trade. Most of the animals are rehabilitated and released back into the wild, although some are so traumatised and badly injured by people, they wouldn't survive back in the wild. So they have to live out the rest of their days in the shelter, but they're safe and looked after. We arrived at the shelter and got straight into preparing breakfast for all the animals. We met Magali, who took us to the parrot enclosures to feed the birds first. She pointed out that some of the birds had broken or clipped wings from where they had been kept as pets. People would do this so they couldn't fly away. It was heartbreaking to learn some would never fly again and could never be released. Next up, we fed the monkeys. So many different species. Some had been orphaned from hunting and some previously kept as pets, then discarded when they reached maturity. Most could be rehabilitated, introduced or formed into new family troops and then released into the wild. Some animals were either too sick or in some cases too young to be kept in groups and needed special attention. This little cutie was only just being weaned off the bottle. Along with standard volunteers, there were two volunteer vets on site to provide all the necessary care. 
Magali relied solely on donations and volunteers to keep the place going. If you'd like more info or could spare some change to make a welcome donation, I've included the link for her website in the video description. So this is my new jungle bushcraft knife, which I am using to chop down the palm leaves with the I had more luck with the machete than Danny, although it was pretty blunt. More and more animals kept arriving, so the work was never ending. We wanted to really get stuck in and help as much as possible whilst we were there, and only wished we could have stayed longer. We've just changed the bed for the deer. This is Danny Cam. Dizzy is currently fixing a fence to stop monkeys getting in with the parrots. These guys are very interested. <laughs> They're watching her. There was so much that needed doing and not enough manpower or funds to get it done, but we tried our best. Don't forget, if you do have some spare change you would like to donate, I've included the website link in the video description. Now quite a lot of repairs needed doing to Ellie the tapir's enclosure, so we set to work. But Ellie seemed fascinated and was more interested in playing. After a few more hours hard graft, it was time to say goodbye to everyone and fly home. Well there we are, thank you so much for watching our Amazon adventures. We really hope you enjoyed it and if you haven't already, make sure you catch up on our wild camping adventures in Scotland on the Rob Roy Way, which we just did a couple of weeks ago. We also asked at the end of the last video, can you guess where we are for our next long distance hiking trail? Now, a few of you guessed correctly, so well done, gold stars to you. We are in fact on the island of Corfu. We are about to hike the Corfu Trail. We're here right now. Yesterday we did a little warm up hike. It was stunning, wasn't it? It was beautiful. And that will be released on next week's video. And then next week we're gonna start the trail. So make sure you stay tuned, everybody. And don't forget, if you have enjoyed our videos so far, give them a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.